Good morning, guys. It is a very lazy, rainy day outside. It has been raining the entire night, like 5 a.m. I woke up because the rain was just so loud, crazy up here in the mountains. It kind of freaked me out because I have rain trauma. So I'm starting the day quite slow today because you know how when it's raining, you just want to stay in bed all day. It's about, I don't have a watch right now, but it's about noon already and I'm just about to get ready. Um, we're gonna start off the day by cleansing my face. That is my usual morning routine. That's the first thing that I do. And I think today I would like to show you my everyday morning routine, maybe my everyday makeup routine. It's kind of changed a lot since I became pregnant. I'm a lot lazier now and I'm also a lot more mindful with the products that I use. And so we are gonna be starting that with a simple cleanse. All right guys, today's video is brought to you by Neutrogena Deep Clean. We are using their foam cleansers today. And before I put that on, I'm just gonna put on my hairpins and get these bangs out of the way. These are so fluffy. This is actually the first time I'm using these clips. I got them when I went to Bali. Um, and I think they're from an Indonesian brand who sent them to my hotel room. These are so funny, oh my gosh. Okay, so every single morning I wash my face and every single evening before I go to bed, obviously I wash my face. I think it's very important to start with a clean base because all the products, like all the skincare products that you're gonna put after um, can't really do anything if there's dirt on your face. They can't seep into the deeper layers of your skin. And so today we're gonna be using the Deep Clean Foam Cleanser by Neutrogena. And there are four products here. There is a brightening foaming cleanser the pink one, and there is a foaming cleanser, I think this is their classic one, and this, these are all dermatologist um, tested, so they're good for all skin types and even pregnancy safe. Um, we also have the acne foam cleanser, which I don't really have any acne today, so I'm not gonna be using this. And last but not least, we have this Deep Clean Energizing Foam Cleanser, it is the green variant, and I think this is what we're gonna be going with because it is a very lazy day today, and I wanna be energized for the rest of my days. What's cool about the Neutrogena Deep Clean Foaming Cleanser is that one third of this entire product is made of glycerin, and glycerin, if you don't know, is a humectant. So not only does it clean your skin, like really deep clean your skin, it also moisturizes it at the same time. So um, we're gonna be trying this today. Looks like this. It's a blue formula. And I'm just gonna apply that onto my face wash my hands, and then I'm gonna use my hands to gently rub that all over my face. Now what a lot of people don't know is when you're cleansing your face, you kind of really need to massage the product into your skin, at least that's what I've been doing since forever. Slater, I notice him when he's washing his face, he just kind of slaps the product on, like swishes it around for like one second, two seconds, and then rinses it off. I don't think that's really doing much, I think it's like, you know how we are so aware now of the coronavirus and we're always washing our hands and they say you have to wash your hands while singing the happy birthday song. That's how long you have to wash your hands for. I feel like it's the same with your face. You really have to kind of get into all the crevices, make sure the product is there, swoosh it around, like upward strokes so that you're not pulling your skin down. Don't forget your forehead area. And really try your best to massage the face so that you also get a little bit of lymphatic drainage going on and I've already showered my body and I've already cleansed my neck but if I did not then I would not forget to cleanse my neck as well using the same facial cleanser so you just want to do this like an upward motion so that it doesn't pull your skin down so now I'm just gonna rinse this off feels so good to have fresh skin. And now that my skin is thoroughly cleaned, I can get into my skincare, prep my skin before I apply all my makeup. All right guys, if you hear that pitter patter sound, that is the rain, it's still going crazy. I just received an alert on my phone that Cebu is at a level four. Let me read it for you. It says, red rainfall sa Cebu, Bohol, Negros, Oriental, Leyte, Biliran, at South Leyte. Uh, so I don't think that's such a good idea and I have to drive down from the mountains to get lunch because um, I don't have any food left in the sky pod. So I'm gonna try my best to do my makeup really quick um, Show you guys what my new routine is put these babies back on so I can do that. All right 
these are actually really cute but I don't think I would ever wear them out they're a bit too loud for me but at least it does a good job in keeping my bangs away see this red spot here I actually burnt myself a while ago with my curling iron Ah, <sighs> my god beauty problems and I also burnt my hand see so it's kind of pink here but it's okay guys my skin feels squeaky clean here it is zoomed in it feels so clean there's nothing on my face right now so I'm gonna jump in with a little toner I'm just gonna spritz this on my face this is the antibodies um, antioxidant gentle rich toner just spritz that all over <coughs> Wait for that to dry, not completely dry. You want it to be a little bit damp. And then I'm gonna be going in with a serum. What serum do I wanna try today? I think I will go in with a Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Ampoule. This is by Vanilla Co. And it's a very rich kind of serum. And I only use it once or twice a week because it is so rich. So I'm just gonna dab that all over my face and my neck area as well and then we're going in with an eye cream and the eye cream that i'm using is antibodies manuka honey skin brightening eye cream there is very little left in this pot and i am trying my best to empty it before i open another eye cream pot so we're going to be sticking with this today next up my skin feels very hydrated i'm going to be going in with the red earth Deep Dive Water Cream. This is like a cooling gel moisturizer that I'm just gonna apply all over my face. Especially here, on this bird right here. And I'm also gonna apply that on my neck. And now our skin is prepped. We are ready for the makeup. I usually start by applying a lip balm on my lips. That way, while I'm doing my makeup, my lips are getting more and more hydrated. And by the time I apply my lipstick, which is usually the last part of my makeup routine, my lips are fresh. So today I'm going in with the Glossier MangoBalm.com lip balm. And this is what I've been using for the past two weeks. It really, really hydrates my lips. I love it. And it really smells like mango too. So by the time I finish getting ready, I am ready to eat. Because it smells so good. Next up, I am going to jump in with sunblock. And I'm still using the same sunblock. It is the Shiseido Future Solution LX Universal defense sunscreen and I read somewhere that it's safer to use a mineral sunscreen while you're pregnant and avoid chemical sunscreen so that's exactly what we're using today I'm gonna apply a generous amount liberally all over my face because they also say that when you're pregnant you are more susceptible to sun damage and as you can see I already have like three brown spots here this used to be only one but I think it's because I'm driving a lot more now and I'm driving on this side this side and so my face gets hit with the sun a lot so I make sure to apply a lot even on my neck and now we are gonna move straight on to concealer because this girl has no time for foundation I'm gonna go in with my favorite Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I've tried to find a replacement for this like I went to Korea Try different brands and try the ones that were recommended by other YouTubers, but still nothing comes close. I still love this one. So we are using this today. I'm just gonna apply it onto my eye bag area and my forehead. This is usually like exactly how I apply concealer. My eye bags are crazy right now because I have not been getting any sleep. So it's just like a water mist. I'm gonna spray my sponge. I haven't been getting any sleep for some reason, like is it pregnancy insomnia? I'm not sure. A lot of people say your second trimester is supposed to be your best trimester. And compared to my first, it definitely is an amazing trimester because my first one was I was completely dead. But for some reason, when I turned 20 weeks, I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping. And then just last week, I've been feeling super duper fatigued. I asked my best friend who just gave birth and she said she did not feel that way in her second trimester at all. So I guess it really depends per person, but I have not been able to sleep straight. I wake up every single hour, maybe because I'm so uncomfortable or maybe because I have to pee. Um, I've also been getting a lot of nightmares for some weird reason. And so that is why my eye bags are very, very active and I need this concealer. I'm also gonna conceal this burn, but not so much because I have bangs anyway and it's gonna get covered anyway. 
And then, I normally conceal this part of my nose, but just to the excess, I don't want to put too much product there because I sweat a lot, especially in my nose area, and so it's just going to get cakey and weird later on anyway. So just with whatever is left on the sponge, I will kind of spread the product around in that area. Can you hear the rain? It's so intense. Yesterday, I woke up at like 5 in the morning to check Twitter if there was any news for like a storm or anything, but there wasn't. So I really wonder why it rained all of a sudden. Yes, it was super sunny. Now I'm gonna go in with the Moschino X Tony Moly Cheek Tint. And I have been obsessed with cheek tints lately. I think it's because I saw my best friend looking very glowy in her pregnancy when she was pregnant and she was a cheek tint baby. And so I'm like, huh. Oh, I like that pregnancy look. It makes you look very, very youthful. And so far, whenever I wear a cheek tint or whenever I make my blush really the statement of my whole look, which is what I've been doing lately, a lot of people really tell me like, oh, you don't look like you're pregnant at all. You're so glowy. I think it's a cheat with a cheek tint, to be honest. So I'm just gonna apply that on my cheeks. And don't fret if you've gone too much. It doesn't look like it's a lot on camera, but in person, it's kind of much. So I'm just going to go back with my sponge and dab the parts, especially here and in the upper part, so it blends more with my skin. And now we are gonna go in with bronzer. It's supposed to be a simple routine, but I still like to go in with something a little bit extra. Um, this is the Rimmel Natural Bronze Bronzer. And what I'm gonna do is just apply this on top. Not going for the chiseled look, just the sun-kissed look. That's it, just a little bit. I don't wanna look too like fake tanny. All right, now we are gonna go in with contour and I'm just gonna contour my nose. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really feel like my nose grew this pregnancy for some weird reason. So I'm just going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going with the lightest shade of brown here. And I'm just going to contour the tip of my nose because guys, especially in video or in photo, my nose looks huge for some weird reason. So I just contour this part and then I contour this part of my eye to give it a little bit more depth. And that is all the contour that we are doing for today. Voila, done. But it's a little bit too much again. So I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and just blend everything out. All right, now for highlighter. What highlighter am I gonna use? I actually got this one from Tower 8. I got it from Revolve Beauty. It's kind of like a petroleum jelly-ish highlighter, but I feel like it's cute when you're not wearing anything at all and you're not putting powder on top of your skin and maybe you're gonna go to the gym and you just want a little bit of highlight. But today, I do want to set my face a little bit because we're going out. So I think I'm going to go with... Let's go with Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath is always a good idea. Okay, let's go with this. This is the Pat McGrath Labs nude skin fetish highlighter bomb jewel i'm just going to apply a little bit on my finger and boom that is a highlight don't worry we're gonna blend this out just gonna put a little bit because i don't want to look like i'm wearing too much makeup for some weird reason this whole pregnancy situation is making me want to look a lot more natural i hardly wear colorful eyeshadow anymore um sometimes i miss it because i do really enjoy putting on makeup and you know being creative with my looks but for some reason i just feel the natural look suits pregnancy more so that's what i've been going for lately all right now that that's done we are going to go in with brows and i'm using the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz which is a staple of mine and it's also the quickest way to get um, my desired brow shape because I just extend it here. Extend it. Fill in the sparse hairs here. And then I use the other side to just comb through it. And I'm done with the brow. That was really fast. Okay, now usually I'll go in with a single eyeshadow. Um, today maybe we can go with Tom Ford. Yeah, this is my favorite Tom Ford palette. It is uh, in number four, Suspicion. These are the colors on there. It's so pretty. Now, usually I'll just pick whatever and swipe it all over my eyelid. I think today I'm going to be going for this one. 
It's a little bit on the party side, and I know I said natural, but literally you can use whatever eyeshadow you want. You can use a plain brown one, you can use a more simple one, or you can use um, this spark a sparkly one like this one. It doesn't really matter. It's still really fast and easy. So I just do like a one swipe kind of thing using my finger. I don't even have to use a brush anymore. I don't have to use like any blending techniques. I just kind of swipe it through, and I think that's also why you need to invest in a good eyeshadow because some cheaper eyeshadows um, will not allow you to do this so easily. And that is eyeshadow, so fast. All right guys, now we are gonna move into eyeliner and I love using my pencil eyeliners. Let me just get it. The pencil eyeliner that we're using today is one of my favorites. It is the Tony Moly Back Gel Eyeliner. I have two and I'm just gonna go with which one I sharpened already. So this is I think they don't sell this in this exact same pencil right now, but you can still get um, something similar in the Tony Moly shops. All I'm gonna do is tight line. And then guys, this is the crucial part because I am Chinita. I like to kind of layer on my eyeliner and this is a Korean trick that I've learned also. So I'm going in with, actually this is an eye brow shadow, but I love the colors. I love the two browns that it has. I feel like it's perfect for the look that I want to achieve with my eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with a darker shade using an angled brush. And I'm just going to go over the eyeliner that I already put on and try to thicken it up a little bit. And then with whatever's left on my brush, I will go in with the under eye. And make sure that if there is any fallout, you wipe it out immediately so it doesn't stick to the rest of your makeup. Then I'm gonna take the lighter brown shade and I'm just going to blend the top of that eyeliner. Let me try to go closer so you guys can see. There you go. Now I'm gonna be doing the same for the other eye. I feel like layering browns just gives a lot more depth and dimension to your look. Like it, it makes it look shadowy instead of like a single line, which I think is super flattering, especially for small Asian eyes. And it's also a lot more forgiving and easier to do than like a straight wing. And this is our eyeliner look. After this, we are gonna jump straight into mascara. I'm using the Teviant Curl Lash. When I used to do makeup tutorials like this, I always used to wear false eyelashes after I applied my makeup, but <laughs> pregnancy has gotten the best of me. I've become so lazy. And also I feel like it's maybe better for your eyelashes to not have glue attached to them all the time. I have been applying serum very religiously, especially before I got married, but um, since I got pregnant, I've stopped just because I'm getting a little bit more and more lazy. I don't have time to pamper myself as much as I used to, or I don't know, I just prefer to sleep than pamper myself, which is so weird. I never used to feel that way, but um, I do feel that the serum has helped make my lashes grow longer, and so now I do feel like I don't need to apply extensions that much. I also like the more natural look as I mentioned. I'm going in now with the Pimel Essence Base Mascara. This is just like a mascara primer and the reason why I always go in with this first is because my eyelashes are very stubborn. They always tend to go back to their straight form even after I've curled it and this is kind of like a hairspray so it like a gel. It holds it in place. Now I'm gonna use my new mascara. This is something that I got in Korea. It is the Kill Lash Superproof Mascara by Clio. It comes in this really, really slim brush. So you can really get all the hair and coat it properly without like being too messy. You know how some mascaras, especially the ones that aren't suited for Asian eyes, are so thick, their wands are so thick. So like when you're really trying to get into the roots, it kind of hits the eyeshadow look that you've already created and it just creates this big mess. This doesn't do that because it's so slim and you can super, like you can control it really easily. What I like to do is do one layer from root to tip and once I see that everything's coated, 
I will just go to the tips and like add more length in that area because sometimes when you go like one one way you're not really coating the entire strand of hair so I'm just gonna make sure that each strand of hair is coated with this mascara and look what big of a difference that makes now I'm also gonna apply this onto my lower lash line but just very lightly I don't want to add too much to the bottom because I don't want it to look too intense and then we are done with our eye makeup look now I'm just gonna add some powder I'm gonna go in with the La Mer it's the translucent powder so this is what I've been using lately as well and I just apply it onto a small brush and I only apply powder to the parts of my face that I want to mattify like the sides of my nose under my eye so not everywhere in order to get that youthful glow also here I want this part to look matte because the shinier it is the more haggard I look basically just the t-zone and my under eye and this area that is it for powder and we are now on to our last step so fast all right let me change the angle up a bit so you can see more for lippy I'm gonna be starting with the Becca ultimate lip definer this is a lip liner now I'm gonna be applying the Teviant X Crazy Lippy, it is in the shade Sunday Kiss. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm absolutely hurt because it means that you don't watch my IG posts and my IG stories, but it is this beautiful lip bullet right here. The packaging is so beautiful and glorious. The shade is Sunday Kiss. This is actually the shade that I did in collaboration with them, and it's so beautiful. Look at that. So what I do is I dab it if I want like a look that's very light and minimal. I'm going to show you. If I just dab it, it looks very like fresh, minimal, like my lips look better. But if I swipe it, then it gives me a more extreme like lip color, lip payoff, because it is very buildable. This is a matte look, but it's kind of like a matte blurred look. It doesn't leave your lips feeling dry at all. But if you don't like this kind of matte look, then you can go ahead and add a gloss on top of it. So I will go in with the Clorons lip oil. Lip oils are always good, they always hydrate. And I'm gonna dab a little bit here. And instantly there's a little bit of gloss to my lips. All right guys, this makeup look is complete. Let me take out the hair lips so that you can see what my look really looks like with my bangs and all. If my bangs will cooperate. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple get ready with me. Um, it's been a while since I've done one. It's been a while since I've actually done a makeup tutorial. And even though this isn't like the makeup tut tutorials that I've done in the past, which is more high production and more creative, um, this is what I do on a more everyday basis. And I hope that's something that you guys can appreciate more because it's something that you guys can also follow easier and emulate better. Oh, oh, before we end this, I also want to add that sometimes, like for example, this blush look, it started out really, really strong and then now it's kind of fading. A makeup artist had mentioned to me once that my skin um, eats the makeup. Um, I don't think it's because I'm acidic or anything like that. I know that used to be a thing. People used to say like, oh, her skin's acidic or whatever. She just says that the more makeup I apply, like it doesn't really look too thick on my skin because my face just kind of melts it off. It's because I'm a lot warm blooded. So, if that happens, then I go in with a powder blush, and this one is by Vanilla Co. I've been really loving this lately, and I just apply that on top of just the apples. Like, I don't have to go all the way anymore because that already has like a cheek tint on it, so it kind of creates this little gradient look. Let me step back so you can see the color payoff. Ta da! So okay, that was my last and final step. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like about this video, um, what you like about my new makeup routine or my skin cleansing routine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah.